Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to a Squad Ops Wednesday event. <clears throat> this time, we're on Operation Whirlwind. I'm joined today by none other than Big Yes. What's up, guys? What's up? Should be a good one today. Um, so it's going to go down something like this. Um, I'm going to go over uh, the op for you guys who may not um, know exactly what's up. Um, if you're just uh, seeing us pop up, um, it is a one life event. That is what we're rolling with today. Um, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Um, so let me go over what's going to go down. Um, so we are on Kohat Invasion right now. Um, and as many people know, the Radio Tower, which is like the biggest objective in the entire uh, map, um, is going to be the main contest point here for the U.S. and the insurgents. So the U.S.'s primary goal, <clears throat> never forget this, is to take the Radio Tower on this map. And the main insurgent goal is to defend it. Um, some assets that are going to be coming in. Uh, U.S. gets two ARs, one LAC kit, one GL, one medic. Uh, and INS is going to get two ARs, one LAC, one scout, and one medic. So scout and GL are the two that are flipping around. Um, U.S. is going to get a Humvee, a Lodgy, a FOB, and two uh, HMG emplacements. That's going to go at uh, that FOB. And that's going to serve as basically a firebase. Uh, however, the U.S. want to see it to lay down some fire uh, on the insurgents. Uh, and for the insurgent assets, they're going to get an RD truck, a Lodgy truck, two SPG emplacements, and two Dishka emplacements. Um, and as far as I know, um, that RD truck can roll as long as there are supplies at the FOB. Um, so, you know, if no one does anything about the supply lines, if no one does anything about that uh, truck, it is going to be like permanent <laughs> already down, which is going to make it pretty hard to move, uh, move around. Um, so let's quickly go over uh, the squad leaders on each team. Um, I'm sitting on the United States side. Uh, in squad one, uh, we have Odessa. Squad two, Hammered Hebrew. Squad three, SM Pure Paradise. Squad four, led by Satan. And of course, Command to cut himself obsolete, leading the uh, United States side. Um, big, tell us a little bit about the uh, INS side here. All right. So for INS, we've I've got some pretty experienced squad leaders right now. We've got Nasty Nate, Kirkley, Shattered Ritual, Best Pony, and of course Karma Cut as command. Of course, Karma Cut. Why yeah. not? So um, let's go over. Uh, big. I don't know how many times you've played this out before. Um. Uh, a few I, times. Yeah. A few times, yeah. It's always interesting. Um, so I guess we can kind of go over usually what happens. A stipulation of this op, and as in almost all of our ops, is that vehicles have to cross bridges, which you can see on my screen down the bottom right there, and all along this big river. The vehicles are going to have to cross those. Infantry can cross wherever they want. Uh, vehicles have to cross those bridges. Um, and the, again, the main focal point is this radio tower, which everyone knows and loves oh, as the super five point anyway. And it's going to be the same thing here. Um, an interesting, like I mentioned before, an interesting, Squad four is um, good. like facet of this op is that the U S does get to lay down a fire base. Um, when you can kind of see roughly, um, on my map, uh, where they want to lay it down marked by that green, uh, fob marker, um, Main purpose of that, like I said, is they get two HMG emplacements, so they do get to just put as much fire as they can to try to give their guys cover while pushing up. Um, we will see. It. We'll see how well that goes. Uh, sometimes it gets picked off before it even gets a chance to get going, but um, that'll be key also here. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if they can use it to their advantage, it's definitely a different tactical opportunity. Yeah, and there's so many hills around the river on this map, all along that southern side that um, you can really get some, like, cool angles uh, and just, like, really, really high. There's even spots that are higher than Radio Tower um, that you can fire from, so. I'm stuck. I am stuck. Guys, let me, let me... Just waiting right now uh, for um, for everyone to start briefing. They're starting to work on the brief right now. They're getting all formed up. Before we get into the brief, let's go over all the cameras we have tonight. Obviously, myself and Big. We have a crazy Russian. We have Han Solo. We have the Silverman, Server Air, 404, Krusty the Sailor, Tedish, Shadow Ritual, J Remick, Best Pony, Hyper Evo. Everyone putting in a lot of work to make these streams come true. And of course, the man behind the camera, Pen. 
the genius himself. To, uh, I'm gonna start calling you Maestro <laughs> Pen. <laughs> um, but uh, they're starting to form up a brief, so let's go ahead and listen in on the U.S. side right now. Uh, let's see what Lish is saying. On and around it, and we're essentially gonna push them off, take that, dig up their radio. So they do have vehicles, so do expect them to be in places other than Radio Tower. The general way I want to go about this is to assault it from the south, uh, with the majority of our force. Unfortunately, we only get one Lodgy and one Humvee for this, so uh, the majority of you are going to be running. And uh, because it's on the south, you're going to be running a fair way before we set up. Apart from Odessa's squad, which will be on the north, distracting and just light engaging on the north to draw most of their attention over there initially. So Odessa's squad on the north generally moving to Chakarkot and just engage and kind of moving up slowly, uh, bringing their attention onto the north, while uh, my two other main infantry squads are going to be Hamid Hebrew's squad and uh, Pure Parad Paradise's squad on the south. You guys are going to move, I'll mark this now so you can see the uh, general route. Infantry have no restrictions, so you can move through rivers, just generally following these uh, sniper marks. All the way down to the valley, uh, before moving up kind of directly towards Radio Tower and setting up an assault on the south. It's mainly because uh, the southern approach has the most defilade, it's the most covered, most in shade. Um, and I'm kind of hoping that that's the easiest avenue of approach as opposed to coming up the open side on the north and the uh, left side of the hill. So while they're moving up there we do get one fob uh, as a support asset with the Lodgy and the Humvee. Um, squad 4, Satan Squad, will be in charge of the Lodgy, the Humvee and that, and that uh, forward fob which has two, uh, two HMGs on it. So that we're going to place it up on top of that hill to support the uh, assault from the south. For initially, they're going to drive down to the compound in uh, Delta 9, keypad 9, marked with... Um, let me mark that, with a BTR mark. So they're going to stage there until the infantry kind of come up and pass them. The reason for that is because the insurgents have vehicles. If they spot those vehicles moving into there, they may or may not try to uh, search and destroy them. So we're going to pull security and just wait for uh, infantry to get past. Once we've got that all set up, um, that's kind of when the infantry will push up and we'll have support from the FOB with the two HMGs. Infantry will push up and we'll just essentially keep bounding up towards radio tower up the hill and sweep across the top. And um, just kind of engaging targets as we go. Um, as the squads on the south push up, uh, you'll generally be supporting one another, so you'll need some distance between you, but you'll be able to be near enough to do that. So if one squad takes contact, you know, the uh, singular squad who's kind of in contact keeps them stationary, other squad can uh, move and support onto the flank or whatnot. Uh, you'll be able to work that out when we come to it. That's essentially it. Um, the Humvee will be probably search and destroy on a RD truck at some point, because uh, Karma's pretty good at calling that in and they do get a vehicle repair station with that so we're going to want to try and take out that RD truck ASAP we'll probably have eyes on that from the hill um, where we're going to be placing the FOB in Foxtrot 10 keypad 2 marked with the friendly FOB if you didn't see that a second ago uh, does anyone have any questions? do they get mortared? <laughs> no luckily do they have IED? thank god Yes, you, uh, I believe they uh, do have IEDs. Did you work the rocket they drive, do. though? Does that include flying? Uh, yeah. All right, so we got we got a bit of a view of with the plans that are going on um, for for both sides. I know Lish um, on the U.S. side really wants to get down this southern area. It's not like the most unique plan, but it is pretty effective. Set a fire base up and get Vix. Um, uh, getting fired down, Humvee getting fired down, and then uh, infantry pushing up under the fire. It's pretty like standard, but it works well on this map. Yeah, and from what I heard, from what I heard, the uh, INS plan is uh, pretty interesting. Unlike uh, Karmakut's normal plan, he's going to play it a little bit more conservatively this time. He's no uh, way. I know, I know. He's uh, he's talking a lot about tactical retreats, placing your IEDs down, and then retreating, trying to draw the enemy into them. So, very unlike him. <laughs> so it'll be really interesting to see how this plays out. 
yeah, as fun as <clears throat> playing advanced defenses, it doesn't really work that well <laughs> normally. So um, I, it's I'm good, glad to see that maybe they're going to go for the win here. Sometimes it goes really well, and sometimes it goes really bad. <laughs> right? Yeah. Luckily, um, luckily this op is a little more uh, focused. I don't know if I don't know if you've played um, other ops on this map, but they can be kind of like all over the place. It's so huge. But um, this one's nice and like centralized, which is good. Yeah, it's certainly nice for us streaming. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it concentrated. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, it is definitely. That location that up on that hill has been a well, really looks good like spot. Starting uh, to well split off into vehicles here, getting ready to roll out. Um, don't forget, uh, those vehicles have to cross those bridges. And uh, infantry can go anywhere, but um, there's a, there's a few points on the map <clears throat> which I can highlight. Um, there's a bridge, obviously North Bridge. There's a bri the main bridge down here, and there is a bridge to the south. I believe there's one to the south uh, as well. Um, so there's a few places that they can go, um, but really what's going to happen is they're going to get across that fire base, and then that's when the action will start. So. Right at 21, that's one minute. It's bound to be very interesting, however it turns out. Yeah, um, you, you got to be... The, the okay. one thing about this op is that the INS gets scouts, and so it's really hard <laughs> to keep your movies a secret. Definitely. Especially yeah, it's a major point. advantage of the INS. Yeah. Especially at the vantage point, they start with that radio tower. Because they start at radio tower. <clears throat> a lot of times in the ops, a team will start, either they'll both start at their main base, um, but not this time. So they're already starting with the high ground, because um, they're going to be building. Um, and it really, like, makes it, it's, you have to assume that you're going to be seen <laughs> pretty much when you're going in as US. Right, yeah. It'd also be interesting to see how they set up their fortifications. Because essentially they have unlimited logi runs, so they can definitely get a lot of stand bags up. So it'll be interesting how to how Karma places things. Whether yeah, he does like a big circle or whether it's more strategic. A lot of times um, in these ops, people like to move really slowly, and it lets them get like the super super fob. Which, if you're going one live, like we are, um, is not going to go well for you. Because you can't just keep me grindering it. Yeah. All right, well. They're off to the races. Get ready. Shovels out, boys. Looks like we have pretty much like a, a fire team of Odessa's squad heading north. Probably doing a little bit of scouting. And the main U.S. force is heading behind the vehicles. Um they're heading behind the vehicles um, over to that fire base, uh, that area. So I don't know if they're going to try to distract or they're just going to try to so get some scouting done. One of our done. teams is going to head south through the river and move up through alley. Yeah, for me, it seems like you got three squads pushing out, one of the north, one of the northwest, and one of the southwest. And it looks like two is holding with command, probably to place fortifications and so forth. Um, oh, yeah, get some digging done. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like Kirkley is trying to place something. Oh, I just got an SPG. Park the mountains. Emplacement down. That'll be interesting. Yeah, that's what can really. If you get if you get one of these vehicles, especially if you can get them before the uh, the firebase goes down for the U.S., it's pretty tough. It gets pretty hard to win because um, there's just so much less fire going on. Uh oh, uh, as I said. <laughs> As I say that, the vehicle flips. It's a disaster. Oh, man. Run. It's a disaster. Oh, no. That's serendipity if I've ever seen it, man. As yeah. I'm saying, oh, if they lose the vehicle, <laughs> it flips over. Oh, man. I didn't see who was driving, but um, oh, that's Sorry, tragic. Guys. That was my bad. Oh, man. He's no doubt being shamed. No worries, man. Well, that is unfortunate. Definitely a key asset being lost. So, do you want to switch your foot? <laughs> also, server, there's a fucking high because I didn't realize there was a river coming That's rough for them. Uh, They're getting a lecture from, from uh, Papa Lish right now. <laughs> I shouldn't have been going so fast around any corners. I'd behind the hill with the Humvee and 
points set up for up so that we have to build points. All right, well, let's just come up with a new plan. <laughs> that is actually so unfortunate. Yeah, and I'm sure it's really his plans. To, uh, Whatever yeah. they are. Yeah, 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 no doubt. I, I, it's just I love how I, as I'm saying that, as I'm saying that, it happens. <laughs> it's a flip philosophy. That is one of the um the dangers of you know having to cross a bridge, um, is that especially especially in squad sometimes that terrain can be a little bit uh, finicky. But um, we'll make do. Yeah, it's very unforgiving, especially the trees on Kohat. I know they're often known as tree flippers or uh, car flippers. Yeah. One one minute you'll be going fine, the next minute you're upside down. I'm not sure what happened. So we've got a few scouts going out towards the U.S. force. You can just see in the distance. Got to my end here. Moving towards the river. Getting his AT mine out. Ooh, that's right. <clears throat> the scouts. Oh, that's right. You know, I totally didn't even remember that the scouts are gonna get those IEDs, those mines. It's gonna be. Um, I've I haven't actually seen. I we have we done this up uh, since those came out. I don't think we have. I don't think so. Yeah, so I'm curious to see how they're gonna use them. I assume they'll just place them around, um, and just get ready to kind of last resort. And blow them up. This will be interesting. Looks like we got a fast mover under you coming towards the bridge. It'll be interesting to see if the mine can get this uh, AT mine on the road before that vehicle gets here. Yeah. Humvee is rolling out. Try to all you can. So it's going to way to the south. Yeah, way to the south. I think it's going to take up the initial firebase position anyway and just try to make do <clears throat> with just the Humvee and the fire team that's inside. Looks like Shadowed Ritual Squad is taking position in the buildings across the river. Got some nice entrenched positions, it looks like. Got their fire team leads locking down the defense. I like it. Fire me. Fire me. Yeah, if any infantry try to cross this river, they're gonna be in for a bad time. Yeah, I'm not hearing um, I'm not hearing uh, any chatter from scouts yet. So I don't think they've got any eyes on. Do you got that beer ready, llamas? Oh, hey, you. So I guess you had. You did you do like a two or some shit? Yeah. A few infantry coming down the Did river northwest of the bind. Let's see where they're headed. Got Crusty the Sailor, Sightless, Magnetic, or Waifu. Let's see where they're headed. If they keep going down the river, they'll come into the range of the mind. I'll probably see them. Yeah, that could be interesting. Hey, Bravo. Uh, there's, we should be coming up on a valley soon that we can cut. Uh, towards. Oh Alpha. man, he is gonna spot them out. It's like a creek, creek bed. Danger here is if he, if the mine sees this group, and calls it, there's only a few people here. That's right. This isn't the main force. Yeah, it looks like um, only a fire team under Krusty. Yeah, so there's. Are. Yeah, there's only a, there's a couple fire teams split, but um, they have to make the right call here as INS. Hey, Sightless, hold up, man, just for a second. I don't even know if the mine will see them. If he gets in, in time, we can get him. He's right on top of them. Yeah, I was just like, you know, just in case we need it. Let's see, he's pulling back. Yeah, I wonder if you got his AT mine down. If it was a GL, I would probably be. Uh, I'm not sure if um, or an AR. AR is a very they spot anything. He's going up the hill. They have a chance to see him. Yeah, it looks like he got it down. It's on the road, not on the bridge itself. That'll be interesting. All right, you got a heavy gun on Hotel 7, keypad 4. What else do we have up here? 
it's like keep it for they're heavy starting, well starting to call out the, the positions the um, of the guns, and I think yeah. they're going to try to orient themselves best they, they can. Although with Karma being there, I don't expect anything to be too weak. Get to the <laughs> right. I'll be pretty short up. Northwest. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, right's fine. Um, dig well, I don't know, if you could dig it down just one more, dig it down one. So where's their main force at, uh, Mighty? What's up? I see they're, they've got the fire team in the river and the Humvee way down yeah. the south. Where the rest yeah, of main, main force is, like, we're pretty far south. They're in uh, Delta 8. Uh, the whole grid. Oh, yeah, way down there. Yeah, they're, they're taking the long haul um, all the way around here. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure what the sight lines are from here um, to the radio tower. I'm not sure yeah, so West right now. Uh, how easy or hard it is to spot this far. But yeah, they're taking the long way around for sure. Oh yeah, that's it. My eyes. Got the best punning yeah, squad up here, dug into the western hillside. Looks like he's decided to split his fire team into two sections. I like mm. this. It's a nice tactical decision. You can uh, have one fire team pull back if they take contact from the west. I like it. It's a little peeling back. Yeah, there's a couple unique. So Odessa squad. Okay, so they are everywhere. So Odessa, I got a fire team north of Chikarka. I mean, I mean, like they are so far north. Uh, Copy that. I mean, if we say a grid square is 300 kilometers. Uh, that's like twelve to fifteen hundred kilometers from the main force. They are super far. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to try to be flanking or if they're just trying to scout. But they're going to be. I mean, they're not going to have a choice but to uh, to hit the radio Go tower. The um, to you now. Yeah, yeah. three hundred meters. meters. But uh, yeah, meters. I seen them. Way Did up I say there. kilometers? That's a little farther. They're like just barely, a little bit. I can barely see them cresting the ridge now. Way yeah, up but to the they're, north. they're way <coughs> they're way up there. If you want to get your um... You can see him. Oh, hey, so like Boosted Desa. Turbo is actually starting to walk up to the main force. Copy. My, my Bravo fire team's moving really north he, of me in yeah. the valley. He's looking in a little bit of the wrong yeah, direction. He's yeah, trying to engage something in the next five minutes. He's hmm. no idea. They have no idea. They're just across the hill from each other. They have no idea that they're here. This is going to be it, I think. I mean, this is going to be the engage. If they get him right away, he's not going to be able to pass off much info. But no one's really... No one's got eyes up on the hill. <laughs> wow, they are running right... He's running right past the entire main force. Got Krusty's guys moving up the, the river valley. Try river. Looks like they're going to... Skate right between the two elements here. They keep moving up to the radio tower. I wonder if DeMind will see him. Is he on this side? Nope, he's on the opposite side. Definitely not going to see him. No, interesting to see what happens here. Boosted Turbo just walked by the entire main U.S. force. Two squads he just walked past, and there's a third one pushing n like north of him. Just have your fire team hold somewhere around there to get uh, very, so, very close. here's the thing <laughs> if he's running there, I'm assuming no one has seen the US right now. I'm assuming no one's seen them, or else he'd be then he wouldn't need to be pushing up like that. Now. So, I I'm actually. A little bit concerned for INS that they have no idea where the US is right now because he would not be. I don't assume he'd be running everywhere if if he had seen them or if anyone on the hill had seen them. So they may have actually done a really good job getting down here, nice and safe. Yeah, I know that's really impressive considering the amount of scouts, yeah. Binox that the INS has. And this is key. I mean, if the US gets set up and hits hard and fast, then they have a chance to take it. They drag it out too long, it's a lot harder. Looks like Odessa's fire team is taking contact way in the north. They're extending shots way up to the radio tower. So, boosted turbo. While they're doing that in the north, in the south, 
Uh, Lucid Turbo is taking a look. He can actually see Lish if you take a second. Lish is poking his head out. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh, he's, he hasn't seen him, though. I don't think, or I'll be taking your shot. Yeah, Rocket's coming down near Odessa's fire team's position. They're definitely going to come into contact with Nasty Nate's squad on the other ridge. It'll be interesting to see how Odessa plays this, whether she continues to push up or just holds her ground. Stuff to push up on the already fire. It's like Direct Blue north. Falcon. Oh, yeah. I guess opens up on Nasty Nate. Exchanges some rounds here. So far, no casualties. This is uh, an issue, though, for Odessa. She split up her fire team, and her other now. fire team under Krusty is way out there to the south, not within support range, which is going to be a problem if Nate decides to push her. Yeah, there's, there's not a lot. They're really, really far up there. <laughs> Definitely. So, I don't think it would be smart to push out there. I think they're probably safe if they wanted to just trade shots like that. Um, I I doubt that they'd be that interesting, uh, interested in eliminating just like a couple people. Yeah, I tell you what, it's a fair point. Six, Turbo just missed eight, everything down here. Eight, <laughs> <laughs> he had he had about six people walk north of him and wrap around. He had about two full squads walk south of him and wrap around, and he was too late to see anyone in the Vic. He, so, I mean, they may Command think one is engaging contact they may think it's totally empty down here. I have no idea. Copy it. Just pull them out. Pull them out if, if you can. Oh, it looks like Shoppy's the first one to bite the bullet. Ooh. Shot right in the face. That was that from the, the firefight up north? Yeah. Yeah, first casualty. Dang, at that range, it's pretty impressive. Nate's exchanging shots. It's got the good old G3. Pretty nice for this nice. range. But Odessa, Odessa's fire team, despite their plus, uh, despite the fewer amount of guys up there, they've got the higher ground. Looks like they're putting that to good work. Yeah. So US is making a move, actually. They they're split again, navigating their way around like the highly occupied places. I'm not sure. We got Shadow Ritual Squad over here, looks like, in this like little village, um, this compound, and um, Lush has led his um, his uh, 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 like not battalion, his uh, his group. Uh, I'm sure the word I'm looking for. <laughs> his group uh, passed around and passed them. Um, Command They're coming squad, back to them. I, I expect it to be a pretty big firefight right here. We have pretty much all of Lich's detachment um, moving towards about a squad of people in Shadow Ritual. Hmm. Looks like part of Krusty's fire team maneuvered into Best Pony's reserve on So now they're falling back. Looks like Silas here is right opposite from Skline. There's not even five meters apart. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to notice. Skline probably, probably hears him. Be interesting to see if... Ouch! That looked like it hurt. Skyline drops sightless. Okay, okay. Oh, Commanding here comes a, here comes that firefight. My team reports, me contact Server yourself, air please. opens up in crazy Russian. So they're actually doing a really good job in distracting this big group here. Um, we'll see how long this this goes, but um, we got that entire two squads main U.S. force um, right. <clears throat> wrapping around south. Although Lish is in like super danger of getting shot here. He is out in the open. Squadron four is ready to engage radio. There goes an IED. Satan, where's that where's that contact? Yeah. In Two, three, to Lish. Two, three, move move up as fast as you can. Uh, Lish is about to walk right on top of of Demolomus. Squad lead five, you're coming into contact. 
contact here north. Oh no. Yeah, that'd be Oh, Lish. Oh, Lish. Southeast of Lish. No. Oh, Lish gets just dropped. He has had no way. He has binoculars out until right at the last second. <clears throat> there goes command. All right, so it looks Yikes. like Shadow's virtual squad's going to come into contact with uh, server area squad pretty soon. Yeah, they, they've been trading a little back and forth, and Lish was right there and got pegged. Ouch. It's tough yeah, to lose your command so early. It, especially at this junction in the, in the, the, the push here, because they really got to do it all together. Yeah, it's definitely um, a critical time. You've got to have yeah. your formation down. Yeah, he just didn't check everything. Uh, server error gets taken out with a nade, actually. They're getting slowly picked off here. Um, although, I will say, <clears throat> they're doing a good job of allowing this main southern unit to slide right past everyone. And if they can make it to the hill, that's a lot of bodies going up a hill. Even if they're in, in, in uh, entrenched up there. It's still a lot of people. I wonder if INS even knows that these two squads are coming up from their south flank. Heartbreaker, Heartbreaker is about 20 meters yeah. apart from the whole squad. I think he saw him because he laid down immediately. Yeah, it's a pretty good cue that he saw him. Which is key because if he wasn't watching that, I mean, they'd be done. I just wonder which element he saw. Yeah, I know. They've actually done like a super job of, of spacing. And moving, um, uh, moving uh, uh, like separately, but at the same time here, you can see the buddy teams pushing across the field, covering each other. Um, with uh, SMP or Paradise Squad, they're gonna move up. Probably try to pinch in on this compound. Although I think the smart decision might be to push onto the hill, but we got Phil in the blank moving in. Noble Six as well. Shoutouts coming in as well. Squad leader, Rick Sanders and Struts. Shadow's gonna get shot here if he doesn't get down. Yeah, we're taking, uh, oh, putting some rounds down. He's tossing some frags. Hopefully, he doesn't hit fill in the blank. Squad two, squad three, enemy contacts here northwest. Noble six, taking a look. Hardbreaker gets killed. Looks like they dropped Kahuna though. One for one exchange. We have good line of sight, Three. but there's contact. a lot of enemy contact near Ali, bud. My best, my best guess here is that Karma's gonna start telling him to pull back. <clears throat> the only problem is they don't really have anywhere to pull back to. They've yeah. U.S. forces on either side of them. They could pull up the hill, but they're just gonna get shot. True. They're in a tough spot. It's a good move by the U.S. Um, I'm not sure. They they got to be careful not to take too long. Yeah, I mean, if they stay in the same spot, Karma's going to call down that rocket already on them pretty yeah. quick. <clears throat> They're trading a lot of kills here, which is actually really good for INS. When you're on defense... When you're on defense, you really... You'll take any trades, because you do have the advantage of, of the ground in the end. So any trades are favorable for INS. So they're actually doing a, a pretty, even though it looks like they're losing, they're doing a really good job of uh, of trading kills off. Yeah, they're definitely delaying them if nothing else. Yeah, as I said, the other thing is they're doing is just giving them everyone else time to react. They're just if they just died immediately and got pushed on, they would be in big trouble. But uh, they're delaying the U.S. Sense. force a good amount. Squad four still laying down, suppressive fire on those fortifications. I'm interested to see how the U.S. clears this area. Most of the INS are just going around Whoa. the building. That is... <laughs> like, they could come the up U.S. gets GLs. This is painful. I mean, they're lucky that no one's GLing them because the U.S. does get the uh, 203 launcher, so it would be easy to get a triple kill right here. Filling the blanks put it in. He's trying to get in there so you take it out. <clears throat> that was actually favorable for the US, definitely. I'll tell you what, Noble Six has the right idea though. He's pushing around the south side of the compound and no one is watching it. 
no one is watching it. Everyone's too focused on what's right in front of them that they're not watching any kind of flank. If he decides to push around here, we'll be in good position to... Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if he down. takes the initiative here. I know in these one life op, it's so easy to just get bogged down with what's happening. You yes. don't want to get shot. Anybody got eyes on that arty truck? He's throwing smokes like he wants to push around. My, my guess is when these pop, he'll make, he might make a move around. Um, spot to be advised, there is a full enemy Ooh. squad. Hotel 6, Here comes Noble. Three, sub two. Gets one. Oh, it gets dropped. <clears throat> Carpy drops him. After he ta after his uh, his buddy takes a casualty, unfortunately, but um, not a bad not a bad move. He knows there's more in there, so he's gonna call Second that out to his team. Heavy scout infantry squad hotel six. Otherwise, it looks like best pony squad is pulled back up the hill. They're taking up defensive positions. Krusty yeah. still staying in the middle of the field. I don't know what he's doing. Slowly advancing in the prone. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have pretty much cleared everything out. Lil Jin is the last person alive. We'll see what damage kind of damage he can do. But everything else here is wiped. <clears throat> but it's, but they, they took out a, probably an even number of US. There's about a squad over here. Man, looks two and squad um, three getting hit hard. That is really favorable for the INS side. Oh little Jin Game almost one. gets away. Carpy sees him. See if you can flank these guys on didn't get the kill. Probably called it out to his team. Little Jin's gonna get away though. Looks like Nate's fire team or squad pulled back as well. They're also on the hill. Looks like they lost quite a few guys in the exchange with Odessa's squad. Then the midpoint and the the top. Nate's calling on Odessa's squad up on the hilltop. Definitely know they're there. I wonder if they'll get any rocket already on them. Just out of effective range, I swear to God. Looks like Odessa managed to save all their men. All five of them are still up. Looks like she got the better of the exchange with Nate. Oh, yeah. oh, this firebase is doing some work, but... Can you imagine if they had the Lodgy and two more HMGs up here <laughs> on this firebase? Regardless, it's still doing some work. Putting fire over the top. My Humvee's on orange on Looks like Iron Tyrants exchanged some shots with the Humvee um, way across the valley. Four, just keep there. Oh man. It's incredible that he sees that. He's probably just seeing the tracers coming in. Yeah. Comms have definitely terrible, slowed down <clears throat> since um, since Lish got popped. <laughs> That's for sure. Comms are still very active for RNS. Most of the squad that are still up. Ooh, that sounded like it blew up. These, these HMG shots are on the money, though. I'll tell you, I'll tell you that much. Marty, did the uh, U.S. set up any HMG position with their own? Yeah, they got two working right now. Where are those at? Are they way up to the south? Yeah, they're super far. I think the Lodgy... Did Lodgy just flip over? Looks like that on my screen. Maybe that was just a visual bug, though. So it looks like Shattered Ritual Squad just got killed by the advancing two squads. However, they inflicted heavy casualties. So it looks like we got seven guys here advancing out of those two squads. Yeah. A few guys in the back. Ronaldo, Mike, Darman, they're just hanging back. Whew. This HMG fire, who's firing this thing? 
Mr. Noodle. Space Monkey and Mr. Noodle. Two of, the, two of the best names in squad ops right here. And they're laying it down with these HMGs. <laughs> Mr. Noodle's doing a number on there, <laughs> on the uh, the enemy uh, HMG emplacement. That's the he's coming into contact. His squad, the seven guys with uh, best pony squad. Pony's seeing them. He's putting some rounds down range. He's got the AR targeted on him. Nice. All right, so let's take a <clears throat> let's take a little bit of a. So stock all we got. So we got some INS uh, around the base of the western portion of uh, the western portion of um, the radio tower. We got some guys on the radio tower. Um, some on the northwestern portion. So really that whole northwest to southwest uh, base of the hill is covered. We got about a squad or, so, or a fire team or so of the U.S. north and the main force pretty close uh, south. And then one fire base set up. So they're like They've gone from pinching east to west and north to south here. Looks like Stray Dog is putting some brown sand range with his AR on these infantry. We're stuck yeah. in between the road and this hill. Yeah, they're not in a great move. spot. Most of the pony squad is not engaged, however. Just Stray Dog and maybe Jazz. I wonder if he pulls them back over. So it's only a 4v7 fight, One, but two, the INS three, has them pinned up. Uh, yes, we're still here. So, what I didn't see here until just now is that the firebase has been uh, neutralized. Uh, wipe to your north. <laughs> um, I don't know if we mentioned that, but Boosted Turbo came all the way back around from his yeah, we see, we see. position, where all the way west, back <laughs> around and killed both of the guys on the, the gun. Man, he oh, finally no. does some work out there. Yeah, after missing, after missing <laughs> a couple, he got he got it done. Now it's just the uh, the Humvee um, by itself trying to put some rounds down. He's <laughs> trauma's ranging the arty on that spot. Humvee's out of there. So far, no casualties down here. We're just exchanging some rounds. Yeah, all the um. All the trade kills were super good for um, for uh, the INS side. That's exactly what you want to see. Well, it's a very close game. Looks like INS has 17 kills, 19 deaths. So, very even. That could even have been suicides, as US only has 17 kills as well. Yeah. So, yeah, basically an even game all around. Back on the Humvee, slaying some fire down here. Ooh, doing some work actually. I might have got someone up there. Okay, actually, I guess I have like two. Sounds like the Humvee is pretty bingo on ammo. It's <laughs> interesting. See him there. Squad four, can you cross the river? I'm already away. Yeah, we'll do. Remick. Nate's looking around up here to the north. He's trying to find Odessa's squad. Oh, Odessa <laughs> finally take a shot at him. He's been looking the entirely wrong direction. Odessa's pushed <laughs> the flank over the east. He's still looking northeast. <laughs> <laughs> So we just had a bunch of rockets. It looks like Karma sees him, or sees Odessa's squad. He's putting some rockets down. Yeah, Artie, the Arty is just raining down on Odessa right Almost now. Empty. It is all over. Oh man, here they come. No casualties so far. They're keeping a pretty good spread. Humby is shifting east southeast. Copy that. Hey, one, two, four, command. You still in? Still here. Yes. I'm running, uh, okay, right to the We're getting pushed on right now, but uh, we should be fine. This is the point where radio chatter. <laughs> here they come. Down a little bit, and everyone just got to oh, make ouch. their own move. That looked like it hurt. Multiple injuries. No casualties so far. Oh, immune goes down. Dermo goes down. 
That's two one. down. That's why from, you spread out, guys. From the arty? <laughs> yep, yep, from oh, the arty. Oh, man. Hey, one, be advised that contact That's impressive, actually. You know, what, one thing about this op is <clears throat> you could see normally we don't allow resupplies um, on the VIX, but in this one, as long as the you get points for it, you can resupply the arty truck. Uh, no small arms, but the arty truck gets resupplied. Um, so... It's tough to shut that down, and when you've got people who are, are as good as um, everyone in, in ops who's been who, who has ever like ran anything with Artie, but especially Karma, as we all know, um, when when you have someone as good as him on the Arnie, and you have unlimited Artie, and you don't shut it down, it's a struggle. Yeah, it looks like Karma's personally overseeing this Artie as well. That surprises me. Actually, he's about zero. Right there. It's about his bread and butter. Uh, so they're starting to move up on the south side of the radio tower now, just as much as they can. I'm trying to juke this HMG fire as much as possible from Iron Tyrant. It's a tough climb though, man. And the problem is once I get up to the top, it's not like they've won. <laughs> once I get up there, it's even harder because um, they've had time to build um, some defenses. Looks like the Valiant Leader Karma Cut went down, took a round Ooh. right in the face. It's pretty big, actually. Looks like it hurt. Because definitely the US has been hurting ever since Lish got popped. They've been struggling. Um, with with getting things moving. Hamley with a nade. <clears throat> Ooh, not quite. Didn't quite roll down the hill. All right. Well, good news for the U.S. is I do have some sort of a, a foothold on the south side here. Kirkley is taking a look down, but um, they pretty much have the southern area where they can push up to the crest of the hill at least. Saloon's exchanging some shots with Kirkley. Saloon oh, goes down. Kirkley gets the kill. Kirkley's just putting some fire down. Pinning Crispy down. He's letting him know. Yeah, definitely. definitely Let him know who's boss. <laughs> Let him know who's winning the game. Hamlet goes that down, looks like, from a grenade by Crispy or Essex. At some point here... <clears throat> the the guys in the firebase are gonna have to make this move, and, and they're starting to. But um, this is the point where it's kind of all hands on deck. There's no um, there's no more like sitting around. <laughs> you gotta go. Yeah, so um, for anyone who's <clears throat> new or new to squad or doesn't use admin cam on much, uh, what you're seeing here, uh, and that's a good point, is what you're seeing here is everyone who dies in our op, um, we give them, uh, everyone in the server gets uh, admin cam permission. So when you die, um, you undiff in Discord and you get to talk with people who are, you know, who are dead, but also you can go to admin cam, fly around, see what's happening so you're not just sitting there waiting um so that's what you're seeing here here is <clears throat> all the eyeballs uh floating around those are all the people in this op who uh have died in our anime camp so um it gives you some and it's interesting perspective sometimes i think being an anime cam is almost more fun than doing the app half the time so um because it like sometimes you'll die and you'll go to admin cam and you realize you're fighting an entire squad by yourself, and it's pretty funny. <laughs> it's a good time. But uh, looks like we're coming down to the end here. Yeah. A bunch of US over here, only a few insurgents left, and their best pony. Best pony goes down. He's dead. So this but is actually Odessa's a really team slick move. All the way from the north. Yeah. This is such a slick move by Odessa squad. They got they were getting just rocked, and then all of a sudden slid into the radio tower, and they're like behind I me. Mean, you can see all the INS still alive who aren't on the radio right now. Which is a kind of a mistake. 
It was a very impressive job. Very nice flank got to the Yeah, north. really clean sweep. There are more people coming in from the south. Which will be hopefully that they're they're looking at that. <laughs> got but... boosted turbo finally coming in. Had execution shots with the stray dog. Kill stray dog. That's unfortunate for the INS. Not many of them left. <laughs> so you got little Jen, Jazz, boosted turbo. A couple guys out there. Silver man. One other. Oh, the U.S. is doing such a good job of clearing everything out. Oh boy! Wow, they really turned this around. Gen. They're exchanging rounds now. It's funny, like the positions have kind of reversed. The U.S. has taken up the fortifications. INS is trying to move back in. Good job by Hesmix. Takes a couple down. I cannot, I cannot believe that this went the way it just did. It was looking so bad for the U.S. because INS is trading kills off. And then all of a sudden, the U.S. slips in, gets like five kills for free, and takes the radio tower, and just slips right behind everyone. You know, is... I think it might have been a comms issue. or Well, well yeah, because Karma Cut went down. Then everyone was kind of like panicking over the comms a little bit, trying to figure out yeah. who was in command. If he had stayed alive... Where to place their men. Yeah, if he had stayed alive, I, I would pl put my money on... Just the fact that there's one commander versus zero... I would put my money on the fact that they'd win. But he goes down right as the U.S. are, like, doing all this crazy maneuvering and pushing. And I think it – yeah, I think you're right. You get through him into a little bit of a disarray, not going to lie. This looks like Odessa, Satan, Gaming Brennan, and Soap are going to square off with Silverman and uh, a little Havoc. Are these are the last two INS alive? Seems so. I don't see any – Anyone else out there? No, well, they got a cap. <clears throat> they have to recap the point. Um, usually, you know, normally we would, at some point we would say, oh, the U.S. wins, but we always play it out to the end, um, let everyone um, get their chance to uh, to shine. Um, so give them a chance to see what they can do as INS here, although they're running right into <laughs> about four or five U.S. soldiers looking right at them. Yeah, I, I don't think this is going to end well for him. Yeah. May as well Game do their best, though. Toss him some smoke at nothing. Yeah, especially without um, utility, without smokes or anything, this makes this almost impossible. The U.S. would really have to screw up uh, to uh, give this one up. But Havoc goes down. I think Soap dropped him. There goes a one. Silverman. Last INS. Oh. He's not playing around. No. Could he get over there? Ooh. Couldn't tell. Come the, two, come the 203s. Searching. That Take was around, uh, bandaging. That was a tough 203. This is so valuable to have those 203s because there's so many bushes that you can't see. But <clears throat> if you know the general area, you can just start putting nades just it's around like so that area. So see him for the end. Ouch. Oh, yeah, he's dead. I think that's it. That will do. I cannot believe that that went the way it did. That's crazy. GG. Nice work. GG. Fucking nice show. GG. All right. Well, U.S. Hey, take the first round after yeah. looking like they were on the ropes the whole time. They yeah. get a really nice, nice flank around the north side, take the first round. Um, we're going to head out to a quick break. We're doing a round two where these teams will be the same because they'll swap over. Um, so stick around. Round two will be up uh, in a couple minutes.